Biotechnica. Today's video is all about research. Yes. So in this video, I'll be talking about 70% of the postdoctoral biology researchers are in the US. Most of them are Indian people and I'm going to talk about why it is so. So this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So click onto the bell icon as well as onto the uh, subscribe button so that you'll be notified every time that we put a video in Biotechnica site. So come let's talk about the complete topic. So the first one is going to be we almost think like why most of them or Indian biotech uh, postdoctoral researchers doesn't do postdoctoral uh, positions in India rather go to USA. So I'm going to tell, tell you some of the highlights why 70% of the postdoctoral biology researchers are in the US. The first is going to be high quality of education. Yes, when we talk in case of an Indian scenario, we do have a very high quality education in India. And very specifically, if you have to talk about this, many Indian students receive a strong education in science field very specifically. So when we talk in case of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, Indian students usually pursue these courses more than any other courses. So it's very easy for them to take up a postdoctoral position uh, in USA also I'm going to talk about. So it makes them very well prepared for postdoctoral position in the United States also. When you compare it with the Indian scenario, in the United States of America, the pattern or the exam or the education pattern is kind of different. But even though since we take up science, technology, engineering and mathematics, it's very easy for them to adapt to the postdoctoral position in the United States of America. This is because of the advantage of the Indian education system that we have, which makes us capable to do a postdoctoral position in the United States of America, which is an advantage for us as an Indian. And it's also going to be an advantage to get an exposure abroad and come back to India and work for our own country also. The second important thing is large pool of potential candidates. Yes. So when we talk in case of postdoctoral uh, research fellows in the USA, you'll find 70 percentage, almost 70 percentage of them you would come across are Indian people. Why it is so? Because they are potential candidates who have the capability to work in the US as a postdoctoral fellow, large population of highly educated individuals. When we compare it with the previous scenario, how the India was, and we compare it with now, the education, the number of educated individual has increased a lot and we have large populations. And because of that, people understand uh, the technology development, uh, even in the case of United States of America, because United States of America is considered as the biotech hub in the entire world. So everybody who wanted to go in for biology research tend to take up a position over there, which is obviously obvious enough to talk about. The third important one is going to be language proficiency. So of course, when we talk in case of India, when we talk in case of Europe, or when we talk in case of USA, so there the native language is going to be English, where we Indians are very much comfortable with learning English. So it becomes very easy for us to communicate in the scientific community globally also. So fluent in English, which makes scientific research in the US very easy for the Indian candidates also. The fourth important thing is strong research tradition. Yes, we Indians have a very good research tradition. So nowadays when we look around uh, for science graduate, they started taking up a lot of JRF positions, uh, SRF positions, PhD positions. So our Indian community has given up a very strong research foundation for the Indian students pursuing here PhD or JRF or post project assistant or research assistants. So since we have a strong research foundation, Foundation, which makes us to be eligible to go and work in the USA also. So that's one of the criteria. Indian postdocs have already have established themselves as an accomplished researchers. Yes, you might see a student working in a national laboratory in some ICMR or ICAR institute or CSAR laboratory or DBT laboratory. They've already completed their PhD and they've been uh, called as an accomplished researcher. So if they are very well accomplished researchers, it would be very easy for them to migrate to any part of the world, very specifically to United States of America to establish themselves as a postdoctoral fellow also. The third, uh, the fifth important one is funding and grant opportunity. I'm going to talk this in detail as I was talking about all the advantage that India has and that makes us more capable to go to United States of America. But I'm going to talk about some of the drawbacks that we do have. So India has limited funding opportunity for postdoctoral researchers. Yes, this is 
very very honest and true to say that when we compare it with the other countries comparatively with the united states of america the amount that is allotted for the post doctoral fellow the fundings or the grant is very very less when we compare it with the united states of america so this is one of the reason most of the researchers they found that they wanted to move to us and do a post doctoral position in the united states of america so here you can literally see post docs are poorly paid in india and sometimes even less than a phd student prime minister research fellowship schemes gives you almost 70000 per month for outstanding phd students while national post doctoral fellowship pays rupees 55000 for one month only so what indian students think after their phd is it's it's okay that i poorly paid in the united states of america rather than poorly paid in india so because of this thought most of the indian uh, biology post doctoral researcher phd student wanted to go for their uh, post doctoral positions in the united states of america which is a point to be noted that india has to be developed in uh, this funding opportunity and it should be notified to the officials that uh, we need a little bit of hike in the grant and funding also i believe that everybody agrees to it so the next one is going to be career development opportunity when we have to talk in case of uh, the indian scenario and the united states of america comparatively not very badly india we have developed a lot and we will be called as a, a biotech hub in the future days also but when we comparatively do it post doctoral position in the us can provide an indian scientist with valuable career development opportunity if you find lot of post doctoral po people who go over there even after their post doctoral position they land up in a pharmaceutical companies or they enter into a college working as a researcher or, or into a research group and they've been paid high salaries and they have a lot of better research facilities over there comparatively to the india in the united states of america so this is one of the reason that we can find lot of biology post doctoral researchers are in the united states of america and they have access to cutting edge technology i would not say that we indian uh, india do not have a cutting edge technology we started growing up but Uh, when we compare it with the us of course we lack a little bit behind it so access to the cutting edge technology or the state of the art technology is very difficult to find in india so that is considered one of the major drawbacks to pursue an indian post doctoral position in india also the next important uh, one is collaboration opportunity yes of course we do have collaboration when we talk in case of it but collaboration opportunities is maximum when you talk in case of european and us country usa so the collaboration opportunity in usa is very very important very very um, good enough growing also usa is a home to many world renowned research institutions everybody agree to it and they collaborate with the leading scientists in the field also so this is one of the potential reason that uh, indian phd's wanted to go to usa and do their post doctoral position in the united states of america and of course access to diverse research opportunity of course we have um, interdisciplinary fields in our country also so they can broaden their research focus in different way how a different country perspective actually works enough and they can gain some new insights also and they can replicate the same when they come back to india also this is one of the reason they go in for learning also and the next one is h1b visa program yes so when we talk in present scenario uh, united states of america started welcoming all the foreign professionals by having this h1b visa program so it's very good enough to go through this h1b visa even though it's a bit difficult to acquire it but if it's once acquired it's very very good enough high number of indian post doctoral researchers started moving because of this h1b visa programs has started and it's been made easy a little bit easy for them to go over there but not very easy i would suggest the next one is going to be attraction of work with a a renowned biologists and institutes in the usa yes of course we have a liking to work in a specific institute in the united states of america a specific person whom our research interest actually matches so this is one of the reason some of the indian phd's migrate to the us for the uh, post doctoral position also the next one is going to be high number of phd graduates in india are in the field of biology yes of course i would i would suggest that yes definitely you can find lot of phd graduates in um, biology are from india so that's the main reason you will find biology post doctoral uh, researchers are maximum in the united states of america the next one is greater flexibility in the research topics and methodologies in the us this flexibility is kind of maximum when we compare it with the united states of america with india so 
These are some of the reason that makes an Indian PhD student to go over and work there as a uh, postdoctoral position in the United States of America, and that's why seventy percentage of the postdoctoral biology researchers in the U.S. are from India. So this is all about the United States of America. So what do you think uh, that people migrate to the United States of America for their postdoctoral position? So if you have any ideas or thoughts, put it in the comment section. Let's have a debate about it.